Welcome to another show of Women of Faith. It is a show where we get to talk as ladies and sometimes we bring in a man, you know? Like today, you know, we decided that we've seen ladies and the lady that is on our studio today, I don't think you can talk about her and leave her husband behind, which was the reason why we had to invite her to the studio and we said, your husband has to be part of it because you two are a forced to be reckoned with <laughs> and you know everywhere you see this woman you are going to see her husband and today they did not even bring the baby but it's a trio <laughs> the baby is also with them so i have with me you're probably wondering who is she talking about hey i'm talking about our very own beautiful lady who has got an angelic voice when she sings wow you could swear that the heavens are opening and you can you know jesus christ can come at that particular point in time and you can be ready to meet him because her voice is just sweet it's angelic it's our own pretty mshongo who is in the studio with us with her husband handsome husband selby mshongo welcome mshongo family thank you how you did you to meet we met uh, at Church on the Hill. Okay. Um, in, in, I, I think you know Church on the Hill is a very mm. uh, successful uh, yes. ministry. Uh, yes, uh, under the leadership of Bishop Yes. Bishop yes. Uh, Bishop, yes. yes. Uh, I, I was just celebrating uh, on that day. I, was, I bought a car on that day and I had okay. to, my friend advised me to go and uh, they, were, they were having prayer there, so I had to go there. And mm -hmm and thank them all, you know, for the gift of the car. Never mm -hmm. knowing that I'll get a gift of uh, <laughs> Two gifts in one day. <laughs> yeah. You see, so that's how I met him. Who is Pritin Klong? Pritin Klong is a child of God. Mm -hmm. A man who, I mean, a woman who is married to this beautiful, handsome man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Handsome with, <laughs> with three kids. Uh, Pritin Klong is a worshipper. Mm -hmm. I fear the Lord so much and what I like and love the most doing is to worship God mm -hmm. and tell him who he is in my life mm -hmm. because I believe that he sent me here for a purpose and he gave me the gift mm -hmm. to praise his name, Amen. to worship him. Mm -hmm. As the Bible says, um, the cherubim and the seraphim, they call each other holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So I'm the angel of the Lord, that's why I'm wearing white today. Did you always know that you're a singer? I'm from a family who sings as well. Okay. My grandmother's uncle's mother, they were singing before. So, you know? Okay. Yeah. I had that dream, but you know what? One day, I will have my cassette. Back in the days. Yes, back in the days, yes. uh, using cassettes. Mm. One day, people will hear my cassette on radio. Mm -hmm. So, I moved this side to Nelspreet. There's this man of God, Pastor Ziganzi okay. You know, he found me, and then I experienced the, the life of studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I was begging him. Okay. I enjoyed it a lot. I joined the church on the hill. Mm -hmm. I sang the worship team okay. where I got um, a, a favor to, to lead one song. Mm -hmm. on the were on their album. Okay. Then I met my husband. In fact, he is the one who discovered that, you know, God uh, has impacted something in you. The best female artist is Bridging I can imagine that having come from Mshongo action and you had done so much, so the eye to spot or the ear, it should be the ear to, to <laughs> listen and hear that this is not just ordinary. Yeah. So you had the vision that one day I'm going to have a castle. Yes. And he was the vehicle yes. that God used yes. to say that cassette, which is now a city. I didn't know how is that going to happen you just by knew. then. You know God, why is it Divine connection. Yes. <laughs> When you had and you had to support Pretty's dream, yeah, did you know that she had a dream? The first time I found out that she she has a gift, mm -hmm. it was when I was introducing her to my 
church, you know, uh, uh, to my, uh, I was serving under Pastor Nicholas Manan. Okay. So I had to introduce her to my pastor, and mm -hmm. then when we started in this whole negotiations and all this stuff, so mm -hmm. I invited her to come and fellowship one service with us. Okay. The pastor asked her to sing us, so, I mean actually to greet the church. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, she's not a, she's not much of a talkative person, you know. So mm. she decided how could she break how the ice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sang one song, and I was playing for her. I was like, my God, what is happening here? <laughs> you know, it was my very first time to hear her sing alone yes. you know, on that day. So yes. I was like, yo, this woman. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and uh, now, now two things they happen at the same time. It's pretty. Who writes your music or the songs that you sing? It's my husband next to me. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, and my father-in-law, mm -hmm. my brother-in-law, Tulani. Mm -hmm. But most of them, they are from my husband. Okay. Yeah. And you bring us, you bring in this I beautiful bring voice, the voice. <laughs> and, and you take us to the, to the level. That is why I was saying that you can't talk, you can't talk about pretty Tlongo yeah. and leave Usain yeah. Tlongo yes. on the side, yes. you know? <laughs> Bridal worship. Yeah. How did bridal worship get born? You know, um, I've attended. Uh, it was awesome. How was it born? Okay. All right. Firstly, I will talk about the name bride. Okay. You know, we we, we took that name from the Book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. Bride, it's the church, yes. and then uh, the groom, it's Jesus it's Christ. Christ. Oh. So bridal worship. The church is worshiping God, which is our groom. Mm. So, uh, since we are worshiping God as a church, mm -hmm. we've decided to bring this concept, right, and worship together. Mm -hmm. The church of God must come together to in one place mm -hmm. to give Him praise and to worship Him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember you were doing a several recordings. Yes. Um, where you invited different pastors, uh, pastors you had musicians. different musicians. Yes. How was it? Challenges experienced? Yeah, well, <sighs> that, that, that's, a, that's a huge uh, uh, mountain, uh, to be honest, because uh, here in Bumalang, we never had any uh, a t a TV program like this one that mm. we are in, MITV, Pride and Worship, and we never had a program that mm. that uh, would give us even an experience of how to run. Mm. You know? mm. So mm. God just dropped an idea, you know, uh, that uh, this this is what I want you to do. just lead a ministry of worship, mm. you know. Mm. And then um, we sat down, we prayed about it, mm -hmm. and uh, God dropped this idea of a TV program. We, mm. uh, we, met, we met with other people like the GNF guys, and we told them that this is what we're going to do. Mm. And mm. Uh, uh, there are people, business people around the province who came and support us with, uh, I mean, I mean, to start the, the project. Yeah. It's yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 27 and 28 of February. Yeah. Tell That's us right. about it. It's pretty. Okay. Um, that event, it's still a, a build up for my live recording. Okay. Uh, we're going to have the live recording in May. Oh, okay. So February, I'm still preparing myself, you okay. know. I want to give people of God what God wants to mm -hmm. me to give them, you okay. know. So I want them to get the quality, quality mm -hmm. stuff. So we are still preparing it to build up. Oh, so it's a build up. Yes. It's not the... the no. We're going to have real worship, <laughs> yeah. but not the real recording. recording that yes. is still coming yeah. in May. Yes. Oh, 27th and 28th of February. Yes. And what are the costs? It's 100 rand and normal tickets mm -hmm. and 200 rand VIP tickets. Okay. Per day, it's separate money, not mm -hmm. one money. Friday, it's 100 rand. Even you want, if maybe you want to come on Saturday, mm -hmm. you're going to still pay another 100 rand. Because I've seen you've got different um, yes. artists, yes, artists, artists yes. that are there. Yes. What will be happening on Friday, um, on the Friday 27th? Who are the artists? Artists Chiyami, Smaliso, uh, Smaliso, and Sidwell. Sidwell. Okay. Yes, yeah. these are local artists. Yeah. Local is like a it is. Like <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> and on the twenty seventh. And the twenty seventh, it's Maboni Mabaso. Oh, beautiful. And uh, yes, and the uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Priscilla Mohab, but this, this one it's people, Mahamba. Mahamba, yeah. Mahamba. They don't know her. Okay. And also, um, there are three. 
Yeah, revive. Revive. Yes, revive. Yes. Okay. okay. Another anointed yes. man of God, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you are giving local artists an opportunity yes. because if we don't do it for ourselves, That's who's right. gonna do it for no us? No one can do it. No one can do That's it for us. That's the same us. that we are doing. We pride and worship. Yes. We we just give the local artist a platform, mm -hmm. and now people of Zimbabwe all over the country they see them, and they will be able to go those sites to you know? those countries yes. and and minister because yes. they have seen them in Pride yes. and Worship. Yes. You are doing an awesome <laughs> job, and time has never been really our friend. Yes. You know, <laughs> we I have to cut. Um, we have to come to an end of our show, but thank you so much for coming to grace us with your presence. Thank you so much. Um, Babum Shongo, what would you say to somebody who is sitting out there who has been blessed with a beautiful voice, they don't even know what to, where to start, what would you say to them? They, there is this thing that they call a demo. Mm -hmm. They call it demo. We, our offices are always open, like we are always available. Mm -hmm. We are dedicated to ourselves to, to help. My, like my, 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 my personal uh, uh, instruction from the Lord. He mm -hmm. told me that I must make sure that artists, mm -hmm. they, that gospel artists, they mm -hmm. grow and they live uh, in, in their music. This is pretty. What are you promising people on the 27th and 28th? What I can promise them is um, let them come with expectation from God. Mm -hmm. Because when I, I go there, I go with God mm -hmm. when I minister. Mm -hmm. God is in me. Worship mm -hmm. lives in me. Mm -hmm. So they must come. I mean, their heart. I mean, they should be able to ready for God. Yes. And their lives will never be the same again. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, viewers. You've heard it. There is nothing that God can place in your heart and not fulfill it. Yes. So if you know that God has given you something, don't sit. There are a lot of people that are out there that are willing to help you. Yours is just to stand up, take the first step. When you take the first step, God will surely back you up. But when you're sitting, nothing will happen. And as for the 27th and 28th of February, you've heard her. She said, come prepared, expect, prepare your heart to expect something because you cannot be in God's presence and come up the same. Until next time, God bless you. And remember that God loves you. Stay blessed. Give it to you.